So I wanted to start things off, say, uh, welcome back to part 89 of Red Dead Redemption 2. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how far we are into this series. I know we're almost in the 40s at this point. Uh, I really can't thank you guys enough for all the support you keep dropping on all these videos, all the likes, everything. Greatly, greatly appreciated. And, uh, that being said, guys, let's do this. Alright, guys, it's super dark right here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know, I was doing some intros and it got dark and all of a sudden I'm like, I go to return to keep playing the game and all of a sudden I'm like, it's completely nighttime now. And there's no way to change it since this is technically the beginning of chapter four, which, I'll go ahead and say it, the end of chapter three was amazing. Sorry about that, buddy. I got a couple of, I actually penned a comment a couple of videos, but, so I record a lot of stuff in advance. So a lot of times if, um, you guys leave feedback. It won't, like, go into effect, probably, <laughs> for a few videos. What is this? I'm just gonna get on my horse and mind my business. But the dead eye thing, I know people were talking about that. Me doing, like, a one and done versus marking a bunch of enemies. I'm gonna try to get better at that. I just figured, like, it seems weird, but, like, with the rifle, it's... I don't know, it just seems... I don't think to mark a bunch of people. I kind of want to test and see if it drains it more if you mark a bunch. Because you spend a lot of time in it versus if you go in and out multiple times. I don't know if it's going to affect it at all. i got to get my cores up. I need to Look eat. Out. A lot of different things I'm going to be trying to get done after this chapter kind of gets started at least. This is the first time we've actually been in a city in a long time. I mean, we were in those towns out in the middle of nowhere basically. But cause you got, like the first area was the Valentine you know, saloon and everything. And then we just left that other area. Now this is pretty awesome. Getting some GTA vibes right here. Alright, here we go. What's my health looking like? Uh, my dead eye core is pretty bad. I need to get my cores up big time. This will moderately restore that. My stamina is what needs to be fixed. I'll fix it later on. I think I just need to sleep also. Alright, here we go. Stick them up, cowboy. The donkeys ain't small horses. They're just big old dogs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Oh, look at this area. And the whole room just stood still when I walked in. I like that. I need to clean up too. I haven't really had a chance to. There's Funny no camp, you, but, you know, well, at the you beginning of this chapter yet. I told him. I say, that's hey, the I get a the drink here? for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Over oh, here. and raised. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I I seem to have some very impatient customers. I now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Sure. sure. Dollar, please. Sure. For a whiskey? Oh. Sure. Sure. That's the real stuff from Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you did, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. All right, ask around. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. All right, let's go back behind the area. 
Morning. So I know you can fast travel in this game, but it's very situational. Uh, not, I think I even showed that a few parts back. That's another thing I was reading. The weapons degrade over time. You're supposed to clean them a lot more. I don't think I have any of the weapons. Like, I can maintain certain ones, but if you go so long without cleaning them, like this one, it's going to lose those base stats over the course of a while, too. So, trying to stay on... There's a lot to take in. Like, if you've never played this game or this type of game, even from the original Red Dead, there's just so much more to this game than there was in the first one. Come on now, this Salkin doesn't become you. Looking around with the vision, but... You always but have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. I think I'm gonna also focus on buying some upgrades for my character. Even though I said to not, like, buy weapons. At least that's what I read. No. I'll probably wind up uh, getting some new stuff. At least upgrading the guns, upgrading my horse a little more. Starting in this chapter. We'll, we'll slowly get it all going. There's the kids right there. Hold on. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, Mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Are you kidding? <laughs> you little pair of shit. You gotta be shitting me. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. Oh my goodness. I just got robbed. No way. What kind of... Oh, he's gonna get killed. What the? <laughs> Something's gotta give. Hold on. I tried calling my horse. You can't do that right now. Okay. My stamina is like at an all-time low. Hold on. Let me, let me restore that completely. Uh, moder. Yeah. Let's get that one. Get those cores up a little bit. There we go. Kidney beans. Yo, I'm full sprint right now. You better stop right now. Bastard got off. Ah, oh, damn street trash. You after that kid? That other shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. Where'd that little bastard go? I kind of miss old Bob Tails. Mm. About. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. You better stop right now. Moron! Oh, I see the trail now. Here we go. See, the icon is what just popped up. Yo, this little kid. I'm telling you, if I lose all my money because of this... Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, 
Lovely morning to you. Hey, Peter! Get lost! I said, get lost, you dumb yokel! You all right back there, old man? You gotta be kidding. Give that back! Hop on over. All right, here we go. I'm being chased by the village idiot! I'll kill you, you thieving bastard! I'll spend it on something nice, mister, I promise. Ah! I feel like I'm gonna get jumped here in a minute. This is your last warning, boy. My Little careful. fool. <sighs> Where'd that kid go? I'm telling you, a cucumber. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Seen sack, so sad. I won't forget this sack. Are you I kidding? Like you. I wonder if he can actually escape. <laughs> Trying to go through it as Yo, I've almost got him. He's gonna hit a dead end here in a minute. What's the problem, Fred? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. All right, return to Dutch near the saloon. The one thing about Dutch, I'm gonna tell you, he doesn't leave the camp much, but apparently when he does, like, you know it's something serious. And he's always saying the same thing, too, like, this is the last time we'll do this. No, it's not Dutch. It's probably never gonna be the last time. I need to rest, I need to eat, I need to sleep. Probably do a lot of upgrading off, like, recording. I don't want to take too much time in videos doing that, uh, but I will be doing it behind the scenes as much as I can. I feel like if I spend a lot of time messing around, <laughs> it's like 10, 10 minutes of a video goes by before I even, you know, get started with anything. Never turn to Dutch. There he is. He's just chilling out. Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Ah, good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Ooh, glad it... Uh, that always scares me when it pops up. Alright, the joys of civilization. 
Got a lot of stuff here. All right, let's look at the map really quick. Oh, something I do want to try. Hold on, let me, let me back out of this. All right, somebody said if you hold down options, you go straight to the map. Oh, look at that. Brad's learning. All right, there's Dutch over there. Let's see. This is kind of the... Uh, Shady Bell area. Uh, man, I'm tempted to go back there right now. I wonder if there's like just shops and stuff I can... I can go buy some stuff here. Let, let me actually go to... Yeah, I'm gonna kind of explore the town a little bit really quick, and then I'll make my way to Dutch. I'll probably do Dutch's mission, and then I'll probably wind up going over to, uh... Look out. Pardon me. Oh, wait, back. shopkeeper, hold on. Nothing quite like wearing your best Oh, you can work. buy leather goods, nice! Or unless this is stuff you have to... Oh, craft garments to complete your bear hunter set. Yo, this looks sick! Look at this one! Look at that hat, though. <laughs> the Huntman. Oh, that looks sick, too. What do you need for this one? So you have to go hunting. I need to take some time and just go hunting. I, I don't need to do anything else. Hat looks badass too. The stalker. I don't think I can craft anything from any of these, but... Yo, these are nice. You seem the ambitious type. Desperado. You want a unique I like the name of that. I love that movie too. Belt. It'll be worth Saddles. Oh, we can get this stuff too. Perfect snake skin. Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's see what items we got. Gun oil. I need to buy some of that. Sure. I'll go ahead and buy all those. Covered scent lotion. The tomahawk. Carry a couple of those. I might as well buy all Done. this stuff. There we go. Reinforced equipment. I can't really get any of this stuff yet because this is all stuff you either need to craft or... Yeah. We're going to have to come back later on. I just need to take some time and go hunting, really. Bye. Pick the gun out, which can use to improve the condition yeah. of your weapon. Select the gun, weapon will, and select that. All right, let me get that rare rifle that I like. For the horse cargo. Uh, let's see. Horse weapons. Let's see. Not the repeater. Springfield? Rare. There it is. Maintain it. Actually, that just selected. I mean, think about that. The repeater as well. Which one do I like better? The Lancaster or that? This one has more damage? Alright, now I can actually do this. Maintain. I don't think you can maintain from the other screen or whatever. There we go. Gun oil. It'll bring it back up a little bit. Not all the way, but... Alright, this one's good. Then I'll do this to the rare rifle as well. Flip it. Nothing's gonna change there. Alright, we'll move that back. And now this one. Alright, this one's completely clean, so we're good. It even looks nice, too. All right, now I'm going to go unarmed before they start jumping me. It's going to be wild, bad news bro. bears. <laughs> Get going, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I feel like there's a lot to it I still don't even know yet. Hey. What y'all do? I really want to go back to the camp, but the medical supplies there. Help me with kindness. What does this person Please. want? Let me see. Yeah, beggar. Oh, oh so, somebody on Reddit posted that. Uh, they gave a beggar some money, then they found him at a bar later on. There you go, buddy. I wish I could give you more than 25 cents. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. Come on, girl. You know, I feel like he probably could have just sold that. Oh, let me look at the weapons really quick. This is one thing somebody did tell me to go at least check out. Let me see what they're selling really quick. And then after that, I'll go start the next main mission. I know I need to eat and stuff. You're supposed to eat meat a lot, too. I haven't really done that in a couple of videos, because we always eat that stew, and that's really it. Uh, let's browse. That's just... Where's the catalog? Oh, yeah, here it is. There's two counters. <laughs> This guy looking all professional. Look. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, repeaters. Owned, owned, alright. What is this one? Why is it free? That must be like some pre-order stuff, I don't know. Component style. I'm not gonna worry about that. I just wanna see what all they have. 162. I own like, almost all this stuff. Semi-automatic. How do I unlock that? Let's see. Items locked. 
Maybe you just gotta progress through the go story more to shotgun. get it. Repeating shotgun. Yeah, I mean, we're... That's what I'm saying, like, we're good on everything. I feel like... I don't know, it just doesn't really seem like worth it to spend Aubrey money on guns. We got that one rifle, I mean, it was free, but... <laughs> I'll take it, Thanks, I guess. Alright, let me... See what I got here. Uh, let me feed... That to my horse really quick. Nice little carrot. And I guess I'll... I don't know. Oh, I did get this. Check this shit out. It's a metal mask you can use. A psycho mask. What is that? Executioner hood? Next time we go do that, I'm gonna... I'm gonna like... I'm gonna just try it out. Alright, let me brush the horse off. Then we're good to go. <laughs> that's... That's so funny to me. My girl. You wear like an executioner mask. Oh, I should have just went straight to it. All right, we got this one over here. Dutch's missions usually are straight to the point. That last one was actually pretty good. I didn't like chasing that kid too much, but that was mostly because I didn't like the kid, you know. I'll be kind of sad when this game ends. I feel like uh, it's one of those bonding type games. Not just with your horse and all that, but in general, it's just very... I guess longer games, you just... You just get absorbed into them, you know? And that's just kind of what I've been with this game. I've just been kind of... You just get lost in it, basically. And that's kind of what... When Rockstar Games sent me the game early, that's what they told me. That, you know, hey, you just get lost in this. Alright, there's Dutch right there. Let me take this off the map. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. 
All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on the mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute.